Sen from Movie Web. I'm here in conversation with the director writer. We have a ghost. How are you today, Christopher Landon? I am very good, Nikki. How are you doing? Oh, fantastic. You know, when I first watched this film, it was everything I did not expect from your typical ghost story. I really wanted to ask you, there were so many themes uh, and lessons that were explored in here, but what were you most interested in exploring with this film in the way that you told the story based off of a short story? I mean, I think first and foremost, I was really taken by this personal story about, about a young man who feels unseen and, and a bit lost in the world and how he connects with the ghost and how they sort of find common ground together and decide that they're going to help each other. And then I was also really excited by exploring the relationships between fathers and sons, you know, which I think is a really big part of the film and how complicated those dynamics can be. Absolutely. And also social media was a theme too that played a big role in that. And what is your personal opinion on how social media can affect society or just within families in general? At this point, we've all come to sort of realize that social media is in many ways a blessing um, and then also just a total hellscape. Um, and I think that, uh, yeah, it's it's a modern ghost story because it sort of, it, it asks the question, what would you do if you had a ghost in your house? Well, you would pick up your phone and you would mm -hmm. film it and you would post it um, because that's the world that we live in now. You know, we share everything. Um, and so it was kind of fun just getting to poke fun at social media a little bit, but also use it as a story device. Absolutely. And you mentioned that casting is your favorite process in this film. Can you talk a little bit about what went on behind the scenes to get the characters or the actors to play uh, the characters in your film? Yeah, I, I mean, listen, I'm incredibly fortunate to have this cast. They're all incredible. I'm thrilled that they responded to the material. I think that they, I think everyone signed on because they believed in the script. And I think they all saw the opportunity to tell a ghost story that is unique. But uh, it's sort of like one of those pinch me kind of things because you sort of, you have your wish list of people and then you hope that you'll get maybe some of them. And I feel like I got all of them. So it was a great experience. I imagine there were many challenges of filming at the locations or maybe in the middle of summer. Uh, could you give us an insight to what those biggest challenges were in filming um, We Have a Ghost, especially having a ghost with CGI and everything? Yeah, I mean, you know, we, we filmed um, in New Orleans uh, in the middle of summer. Um, so it was very hot and very humid. <laughs> Um, and so that was a challenge just from a, just a pure physical stamina point of view, um, fighting the elements, fighting like lightning shutdowns, you know, you can't film when there's lightning anywhere near you. Um, so there were a lot of inherent challenges, um, but you're also, you're also filming a movie in the most haunted city in the world, which I think actually adds something to it. You know, there's, there's, there's something special about, and there's, and New Orleans is a magical city. It's one of my favorite places in the world. Um, so I think it actually helped us in a lot of ways, even though we were fighting, you know, the elements. Yeah, and explain the process of uh, how did you get to film with David Harbour's uh, character? I read that you had to film it like four times each time. Yeah, well, it's it's you have to film it four times just to be able to pull off the visual effect. So it was really complicated. What we would always do, because I didn't want to have a situation where actors weren't acting with each other. Um, and so what we would do is we would shoot everybody together and then we would pull the other actors out and leave david and shoot the same thing and then we would pull david out and put the actors back in wow. and shoot that and then we would shoot a clean plate um so we had those four layers that we had to do every single time well thank you for giving me an insight to your creative process i'm just so excited for everybody to see we have a ghost because it definitely wasn't the typical ghost story so job well done i loved it thank you so thank much thank you so much i appreciate it